All right, we're trying some more examples of applied trigonometry to solve word problems. Um, in this first one, we're given a child flying a kite on 200 feet of string. And the kite string makes an angle of 40 degrees with the ground. And we want to figure out how high is the kite off the ground. So remember, whenever you have these word problems, the important thing is to draw a picture right away. And that helps you convert from lots of words into some kind of triangle or some kind of uh, geometric picture where you can invoke the equations that you know. So let me draw this now. The child is flying a kite on 200 feet of string. And the kite string makes an angle of 40 degrees with the ground. So that's a 40 degree angle. And I want to figure out how high the kite is off the ground. So let me draw in something to mark the height here. So there's the kite up there. And here's the child. And we're not going to worry about how tall the child is, because that really won't make a difference. Um, so we're trying to find this distance right here. That's the height of the kite off the ground. And so this is a right triangle, so we can use our formulas for right triangles, which is SOHCAHTOA. Remember, SOHCAHTOA only works for right triangles. If you don't have a right triangle, then you're going to be using something like the law of sines or law of cosines um, or Heron's formula. But if you have a right triangle, SOHCAHTOA is usually faster. So um, let's see what I know here. I don't really know anything except the hypotenuse of this triangle and one angle. And then this is the opposite uh, side to the angle that I know. So I'm going to use this part of SOHCAHTOA, sine equals opposite over, over hypotenuse. So sine theta is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse. That's because I know the hypotenuse, and I'm looking for the opposite side there. So sine of 40 is equal to the opposite over 200. And if I solve that by for the opposite side, I get the opposite side is equal to 200 sine 40. So let me check on my calculator what that is, since that's not a common value. That's not one that I just remember. And what I get is an approximate value of 120, oops, 128.6. And we're told that the unit of measurement here is feet, so 128.6 feet. So that one was a pretty quick one. The, the reason it was so quick is because we really had a right angle there, so we were able to use SOHCAHTOA. If we didn't have a right angle and we would had to use the law of cosines or law of sines, it probably would have been longer. So let's recap what it took to do that problem. First of all, you read the words. You try to make sense of it. Then you draw a picture. It's very important that you draw a picture to illustrate what's going on. So we drew a picture with the child here, the kite here. Um, and we know that the child is, drawing, is, is flying a kite on 200 feet of string. So we fill that in. We're told that the kite string makes a 40 degree angle with the ground. And so we draw that in. And then we're trying to find how high is the kite. So we draw in the height of the kite. And then we have a right angle, definitely a candidate for SOHCAHTOA. And the reason I picked sine is because I want to find the opposite side to the angle, and I know the hypotenuse. So that's why I went with sine. Sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. I filled in the values that I know, 40 and 200. And then I just solved it for the opposite. I got a number, and then I checked back to see that we were using feet. So that tells me that my unit of measurement for the answer should be feet.